lathe's back up and running now, finally. We had this installed because the rewind on the motor wasn't quite right for some reason and they had to charge me more money for this. So I just thought if it lasts another 50 years it's probably worth the money. So now I also have variable speed and reverse and forward. So I'll show you the start up. So it will start off really slow if we want. We can turn it right up. And then we also have reverse. Don't know what I'll use that for. Probably if I do something wrong, I'll put it in reverse and then it'll make it right. That's what I think. So that's it. This is it. Variable speed dial, forward, reverse. Loads of other functions in here, which I'm not going to touch because it's scary. But I will do a little video on that another day when I actually get a chance to go on it because you can see it hasn't been used for about five months now. Working on some curved doors and had a few minor issues with these formers before I made a former and it was solid tulip and I was advised this time because of the scale of the former to do it in rib sections so I don't know if you can see in here there's all ribs in there about 100 mil apart and then you have to skin that with a few layers of um, thin MDF or ply, which I didn't realise I should have used. So I did two layers of 2mm MDF with a nice um, Hydrocure PVA in. And when I put it in the bag, the vacuum bag, it was um, making the laminations go in between, so fall in between the ribs. So, I don't know if you can see, and this is a curved piece, but you can see there is definite waving going on. So this was a fail, but I've put an extra skin on all the jigs, there's another three there, and hopefully it's not gonna do any dipping now, and also turn the vacuum pressure down on the vacuum pump. So I'll be doing that, <coughs> but I've also got a little Axminster goodie box here, which I'm going to do an unboxing. This is the box. I already opened it and then I thought, ooh, I'll show everyone what I've got. So everyone else does. And they're all millionaires and I'm still here working. I've got a nice glue. Five minute fast grab. So when I put these curved doors together, so these are the laminations you have to make. You have to make the front rail, which isn't part of this jig, but it's a similar radius. So you have to make the front rail, you have to make the panel, you've got your styles there, and there's a back rail which goes on there, which is the wobbly bit I've showed you already. 
um, and then this five minute glue will go on every adjoining piece and it will get clamped to the original former so that it glues in the shape of the door. So this here is what I was given by the client to copy. Um, normally we do it off a carcass, it's a lot easier to work out the sizes and bits of bobs. But this is what we've got and that's what we came up with, so that's it. I keep saying we, it's literally just me doing these. So, can't help saying we. <coughs> anyway, that's what the five minute glue's for. I don't normally use it, normally use PVA. Uh, this stuff, Hydrocure, because it works on our wood welder. That's it. What else have got here? I've got some super glue from Chestnut, I think. Yeah, Chestnut products, because we only ever have two part glue in here. And two part glue is all right for certain things, but frustrating for other things because it doesn't stick to everything you want it to. And um, that can be a bit of a pain in the uh, backside. That's that. What else did I get? I got some goggles. There's only like a tenner, so I thought, why not? Um, they're pretty sealed off as well, so they're quite decent. So I'll be wearing them when I do something that needs them, obviously. It's pretty decent. Uh, and there's a manual in there if you're interested, because I'm not. This is what I really wanted to get. Power cutter, a tenon cutter from Veritas. I've heard about them, I've seen them in use. They are massive. Look at the size of that. That's crazy. So I've got a tenon cutter and I also got a fish, not a fish, a fish forcing a bit, which Just the right size to match this ten enough. So we are quid in. And what is this? What is that? Let's find out. Doesn't tell you what's in the box. Oh, it's a shim. It's a shim you can put in to reduce the shaving thickness. Whatever that means. Cool. So, I wanted that anyway, because I've got a few ideas. Um, but it's pretty cool, look. Nice curved blade in it. Spins round on a normal auger on a drill. Um, you're supposed to use it on a power drill, so I guess I'll have to go and find a power drill somewhere because all mine are cordless. But this looks cool, this is a wavy edge force in a bit, I don't know if you've ever seen one before. You can see the waviness, I'll come round, hang on. The, the waviness. The. Most of them have like a serrated edge with this waviness. It's supposed to be a lot better for cutting with. Looks a bit like it's chipped, but it's the way it is. So that is my unboxing. Uh, and I'm probably gonna get on with these curved doors and hopefully I'll get my head in gear and do some more videos because it's been about four or five months. Is it October? It's the 9th. Yeah, probably about 
four or five months since we've done anything decent. Well, that you've seen. We've done loads of decent stuff. In fact, I'll show you what we've done in a minute. And I'll put this away. We have been making in-frame kitchens for local clients. Just keeping the workshop alive with the bread and butter. This is a uh, countertop unit. This is going to be a pull-out magic corner, hence why the door isn't swung. This one here is going to be have an electrical cupboard behind it, so the depth of it is normal wall cupboard depth. That is a countertop as well. But inside we have a false back. Well, it's not a false back, it is real but it gets taken out. There's three screws at the top that comes out. Uh, and what else have we been doing? It looks pretty empty, but we've just fitted a massive Scandinavian style kitchen. Uh, we've got all the magic corners, components, bits and bobs. Uh, this is the kitchen island for the showroom, which we haven't finished yet. I don't know if we'll ever finish it. We started doing the drawer boxes for it the other day. This is a um, double bookcase for the side of the island that is going in the kitchen that we're doing. So it's upside down at the minute, but it's going to have um, sawtooth shelving in there and then one thick double lamination of ply for a shelf. And the back's all um, neat match or bead and butt. And the face frame's beach as usual. So that's pretty much what we're up to at the moment. Um, aside from that, we have these curved doors to do, and I am, oh look at that, and I am not enjoying it as much as I normally do, but these are the jigs, three jigs there, there's another jig here for a shallow curve, there's a jig under there for a different curve, and let's get to it. 